Hey guys, so today I want to take a quick look here at the software update for my Samsung Galaxy S4 that I did receive a few days back and it is uh, for me, I have the GTI 505 variant of the Galaxy S4 It's not the octa-core variant, but I got an update and hopefully this update will fix some of the issues I've been having with the S4 So some of the small issues I've been having is sometimes when I go back to the home screen I have seen some small lag when I've been jumping outside of some apps, so this new update here uh, is 74 megabytes and uh, if you don't have it, I live in Sweden and uh, yeah, I think most people have got it right now and uh, so you just hit install here if you got it let's see what's gonna happen and then of course I can make a video to see if I see any performance differences I've been hearing some people having actually had like more problems with the new updates but it could also be because they have the octa-core variant. I've been hearing some people having having ha have had heating issues. Oh, that's interesting. I see some blue color. Huh. So installing this system update. Hopefully, it won't take too long. And hopefully, the phone will work. But I've been hearing some pro people having more problems when they've been updating to this. Uh, some people have been having apps crashing. Seems mostly that the heating issues with the S4 is with the GTI 9500 variant and not the GTI 9505 variant of the S4. How do you know which variant you have? Well, you can go into a settings area and check about your phone, see what variant you have. You probably have the GTI 9505 variant. If you live in India, you can actually probably have the uh, GTI 9500 variant. And also the new charger for the S4 should have a higher milliamp or output or something so if you don't want your phone to be as heated and you have an old charger you can try that one out as well to maybe solve some of the issues that you do have if you do have some So you have this little Android guy. It's uh, that's the guy that fixed your updates and everything. So soon it should be finished here. Sweet rebooting. So now it will be optimizing some apps.
and then we also will go into the settings area to see uh, if we can find the name of this little update probably we can Okay, feels like that could actually be a little bit quicker here, maybe. Yes, I actually do believe that it's a little bit quicker when I unlock the device. Hmm. I'm gonna go in here. I'm not sure if it's better. I mean, it did make the update there in the background. Okay, now it feels good. So you might get some performance updates here. Definitely, I did feel that in locked screen it could be updated here in terms of its speed. So definitely something good to know. Overall though, everything should look the same here. Let's go to more about device. And we can see it is, uh, you can see the baseband version here and everything. And I might also have it in the title of this video, uh, but actually I do believe that this could be a nice little thing here. If you want to check for software updates, you can also of course do so if you haven't got this one. So quickly a look here, installing this one, I of course will report back if I get any weird problems with the, the, the uh, Galaxy S4 now with this update. Uh, so uh, until next time, just have an awesome day and hopefully I will see you all in the next video. Peace.